Hello, hello. Okay, so today I wanted to get into my hospital work bag. So this is what I bring with me to work. I haven't looked in here in a hot second. So it's gonna be maybe as much of a surprise to you as it is to me because I really can't remember what I have in here. This is my bag. It's a backpack that my mom got from work and I just liked it because it was simple and cute. There's a, there's a zipper right here, a zipper right here, pocket, two big pockets, pockets within the pockets, and then like a back one. So this one's good. For the first pocket in the back, I have extra syringes. At the end of the shift, I just empty out all my pockets. If there's any sharps in my pockets, I'll take them directly to the supply room and put them back. But if I have like this or like gloves, I'll usually just put it in the backpack again. And then the next shift, I'll take it out and put it back in my pocket so I make sure to use them. Alcohol swabs. <laughs> my scissors. I have my stethoscope. This is my lip mint. It's the like rainbow teal version and I have this from Etsy that has my name it says Jacqueline RN I just printed out a bunch of policies and procedures so that I can have them handy and I can read them over if it ever got slow or if I had some extra time on my hands again quotation mark there's no extra time and cheat sheets I printed off from like Pinterest so this is my fluid and electrolytes cheat sheet and I have an IV solution cheat sheet like what is compatible to what this was my nurse cheat sheet, uh, rhythm strips, paper bags that they've been giving us to put our masks in so that we can reuse them. Medical surgical nursing textbook. This is a teeny tiny textbook. I got this idea from Holly Gabrielle here on YouTube. She says that she used this, especially during her first few months last year. Whenever you don't know anything about a diagnosis or you don't know something about a diagnosis, you can quickly look it up because this has all the most common diagnosis and it it's like a quick reference of what to expect on your patients and it tells you what it is the medical management of it um nursing management educating the patients about self-care the clinical manifestations what you can expect to see in your patient assessment and diagnostic findings medical management surgical management nursing management and like little red flags to be aware of it's small it's thick I could put it in my scrub jacket but it was uncomfortable because it weighed heavily so it kind of like brought one side of my jacket down i have my clipboard external battery i don't know what what is that sound why is it shaking some ibuprofen latex tape breath mints phone charger Emer emergency granola bar another pen light i had lost this one actually it was like all the way at the bottom the whiteboard marker to update the whiteboards highlighter pens love my pens these are really good by the way these are the Ener gel liquid gel ink 0 0.7 needle tip they're really nice i like these definitely a multicolored pen these are awesome especially when you're getting report because then you could mark things i have dark chocolate covered almonds i forgot i had this this is awesome i'm so prepared this is literally contact solution I forgot what it was it's contact solution because i do wear contacts and my eyes would dry out a lot when i was doing day shift or when i did uh clinicals always carried my glasses in here too i would just throw them in after i put on my contacts and this is my very first schedule it's really cool i had just gotten this so you it's magnetic and it clips onto your shirt scrub top whatever and it stays on and then you click it and it lights up different colors that was really cool that is everything in my hospital work bag what i actually took with me into the floor my eucalyptus oil my lotion clipboard stethoscope i'd carry my pens highlighter this is pretty much what i had with me every single shift going onto the floor and then my pockets would be filled up with goodies like syringes and normal saline bags and iv kits just to be prepared so i'd always have my lotion my eucalyptus oil my stethoscope my clipboard sharpie whiteboard marker highlighter pen light and pets and i think that's it i'm definitely going to clean this backpack now because it's really dirty but thank you so much for watching